Puneet Gupta invitation presents RSVP with Puneet. Welcome to another episode of RSVP with Puneet. So as I mentioned uh, in my last episode, I'm going to make you uh, meet the style powerhouse uh, of India. So I'm talking about Isha Amin. Isha has been the fashion director for many uh, Miss Indias in the past and uh, many to come. So all these uh, you know beautiful uh, gorgeous ladies that we've seen in the past had all been styled by none other than uh, Isha uh, it's not just these uh, beauty pages it's not just these uh, uh, beauties that we're talking about we'd also have a long list of uh, uh, bollywood celebrities who swear by Isha's design who swears by her style tips who are um, always following uh, Isha in terms of what to wear what not to wear so the amazing airport looks that you see um, be it uh, Karishma Kapoor be it Chitrangda Singh be it Ishan Kattar be it uh, Saif Ali Khan for appearances for endorsements it's all been uh, uh, done uh, by Isha so uh, without any further ado i would like to invite isha to come and join us on the show so that we can uh, get on with some amazing style tips for our brides and uh, see you know what what uh, what needs to be done especially with this entire corona um, pandemic uh, what are the things one can take care of uh, what are the things we have to look further ahead post this uh, covid 19 is over hi puneet hi how are you I'm good. How's it going? How are you? Very well, very well. So how's quarantine how treating you? Very well. Well, it's, it's been it's been okay so far, but can't wait to get back to work and shoot. Absolutely. I'm missing all of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we all are. We all we all are missing our work. We're all missing our regular routine. But uh, having said that, I think this entire peaceful life and the new uh, found uh, solace that we've got in terms of you know enjoying back in our own homes. Yeah, I mean it is um, an un- unexpected uh, forced break, but uh, I mean there have been a lot of positive uh, uh, things to learn from it, and uh, uh, yeah, it's, it is a great experience, and I'm I'm hoping that we will carry forward some of this in our hectic life uh, absolutely, ahead. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we all have our own uh, takeaways from this lockdown. So, Isha, why we wanted to invite you for this mm-hmm. uh, chat was, uh, I mean, you know, we all. seen uh, how stylish you make everyone so oh, thank you, uh, you know, we, <laughs> we especially wanted to take tips from you and understand uh, mm-hmm. uh, from a bride from a bride to be's perspective as mm-hmm. to you know what are the things that you know she needs to take care of now post the covid era so i'm going to okay. fire my first question on you mm-hmm. so uh, a lot of brides would have bought in a lot of heavy lehengas a lot of heavy engagement that's gowns. right right so you know we were getting married in april or may and also That's keeping correct. in mind the palette of the correct. season of the season and now the weddings yeah and now the weddings have been postponed say december That's or true. maybe next year That's so true. what is the advice that you would like to give to them how should they manage this the wedding shopping okay. that they've done uh so uh one being that don't worry about the palette uh <laughs> you know worldwide uh, literally mm-hmm. a season of fashion has is skipped so uh, don't worry that you know you are going to look out of uh, a trend when you have your wedding say in december or whenever you're planning to uh, you can stick to the same uh, look uh, of course in terms of uh, styling in terms of your hair and makeup in terms of the way you uh, um, uh, you know uh, uh, drape your uh, dupatta and things like that you could tweak that around to make it look a little more uh, modern uh, to the time um mm. uh, i do understand that a lot of you would have planned say destination weddings and mm. say your outfit would have been relevant for that and uh, uh, you know keeping in uh, uh, keeping the whole travel factor which may not happen uh, a lot mm. of you have shifted destinations mm. Uh, mm. well in that yeah. case uh, my advice to you is uh, 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 try and create a similar vibe like for example if mm. you were you know getting married in uh, uh, say you know thailand uh, by the beach mm. Uh, mm. i'm sure you know places like bombay goa have a lot of water bodies mm. around so try and find a similar vibe so your you know your mm. entire look uh, your vision your dream remains mm. the same uh, but just in a different place 
um in terms of uh, you know if you uh, a lot of a lot of brides i know i have today mm. given up the whole idea mm. of an elaborate wedding are trying mm. to do something very small scale just mm. within the family uh um, mm. well in that case my advice to mm. you is um, uh, don't worry that uh, you know the outfit that you've invested in is going to go mm. waste because uh, mm. there are at least three four different ways on how you could uh, recycle and use this outfit mm. the, you know your lehenga uh, mm. uh, you know going ahead for attending other people's functions for example uh, mm. you know you could say team up your uh, lehenga with uh, you mm. know instead of a choli do it with a white mm. shirt and do like uh, you know strands mm. of uh, kundan polki mm. jewelry mm. uh mm-hmm. and it becomes a little uh, contemporary mm-hmm. fun look for somebody sangeet yeah, you could uh, mm-hmm. you could uh, uh, you know use the choli and maybe make a very simple uh, elegant uh, uh, evening mm-hmm. sari out of uh, uh, you know a plain fabric and team your choli with that um, mm-hmm. you could totally uh, uh, you know uh, ditch the uh, dupatta and the choli and maybe wear uh, your lehenga with a interesting mm-hmm. jacket mm-hmm. an evening jacket which complements it uh you know hmm. with a cool choker or you know big chand walis or a mask and right, make it a fun definitely. yeah so you know don't worry about uh, oh you know this whole effort has gone waste and we'll never hmm. be able to wear it hmm. you will be able to wear it you just have to figure how to do that um hmm. yeah so that's that even for even for gowns uh, uh you know there are ways on uh, on how you could make that less elaborate if hmm. you have a trail gown make it a detachable hmm. trail gown and you could wear hmm. it again uh, to somebody hmm. else's cocktail or you know hmm. there are ways of making use of it so yeah. uh, i think that's that's a, that's a good take away for the brides <laughs> to understand how they can kind of mix and match yeah. and uh, yeah. reuse their uh, you know totally you know fusion wear is uh, fusion wear has so much scope and you know it keeps mm-hmm. evolving so your heavy dupattas can be teamed up with say a choli a pair of uh, dhotis or cigarette mm-hmm. pants and you know you can just keep uh, variating and mm-hmm. there is no limit if you uh, Leon, absolutely yeah and if you still have and, a doubt dm, have DM like me <laughs> No uh, you know Puneet as a matter of fact um, uh, I'm sure we uh, you know you did see that uh, new thing that we've started which is the virtual uh, style yeah. analysis and virtual style yes. tips it is mm-hmm. basically uh, because a lot of these queries started coming in um, uh, from mm-hmm. uh, real people you know who at mm-hmm. one point thought that mm-hmm. stylists were only meant for uh, uh, celebrities Celtism. and uh, you know oh, uh, and yeah. maybe just as a new mm-hmm. version people started using stylists for uh, you know luxury weddings <laughs> but uh, mm. this was the time when i started getting a lot of queries from mm. regular people mm. about things about their wedding things about not mm. having budgets to shop and you know mm. how to look trendy mm. post this yeah. uh, yeah. situation and that's mm. when we started uh, the virtual style analysis which is uh, um, i think know, it's uh, great also you know because uh, yeah. every bride has a different body type has a different style that's true that's and true every and every individual is different uh, yeah and everything needs to be uh tweaked as for your personality your body type your mm. lifestyle you know like mm. uh, uh yeah. if two people with the same body type may not be able to carry uh, the same style the same in the outfit. same way Absolutely. because your personalities are different your uh, body yeah. language yeah. is different uh yeah. you know so that's something that we kind of keep in mind and uh, mm. we uh, guide people mm. uh, we customize and tell them that mm. you know this is your brand your style dna and you you got to keep this once you understand what works for you what doesn't work for you what are the silhouettes colors styles uh, that you need to have and what you should discard uh, it makes a lot of mess uh, is you know sorted you know you uh, immediately know uh, where to spend your money correctly how to present yourself correctly and uh, besides 90% of the first impression that we make mm. on anyone is the ba- is based on how we look right i mean like the yeah, you know absolutely. you want, you meet somebody for the first time yeah. you judge them on the way they look and then comes everything else so yeah. why not make use this time to take that effort to understand how well can we present ourselves so i was saying i was asking what would be the three style hacks for anyone you mm-hmm. know to look their best which is like a diy well, Uh, from your okay. side that uh, you like to from recommend. my side what i would say is uh, reduce uh, hmm. recycle and reuse follow these three steps hmm. every season hmm. with your wardrobe hmm. and you will be able to uh, you know uh, sort hmm. your style uh, more precisely um you hmm. know by that i mean uh, you know hmm. uh, just look through everything you've got uh, figure hmm. out ways of how you can wear these and style these in different ways 
and mm. uh, discard what is absolutely irrelevant and recycle mm. what needs recycling and uh, but before you do that it's very important that you understand what mm. is your personality what is your style and uh, yeah so i mean well, you know my point being that uh, this simple exercise that one could mm. do is uh, mm. is something that will last them forever and uh, mm. it, it's mm. it's it's really you and know, it gives it's a you a lot of more options and avenues to style yourself and confidence or, yes. and confidence yeah. to carry yourself yeah. and you know mm. and it's a myth that you know something of this sorts could be super uh, expensive mm. like uh, you know in in simple language if i could put it mm. Uh, if you mm. are someone who can afford say two zara shirts you are someone mm. who can afford uh, uh, you know mm. a style analysis from us mm. or you know something mm. on on this scale because uh, mm. it's re- it's literally just an exercise of getting it right and then you follow mm. that for the rest of your life so tell me something like you talking about you know re- uh, recycle and reuse so do you mm-hmm. think uh, because of this uh, pandemic people will stop or maybe reduce their shopping habits as in um, people shop less or shopaholics well, are going to be shopaholics uh, uh well shopaholics are going to be shopaholics but uh, i think there will be a shift in the way of uh, looking mm-hmm. at things there will be uh, you know a slight consciousness uh, mm-hmm. a little awareness people uh, will uh, not probably impulsively buy they'll probably look at more classics that will last them longer Uh, or mm. more versatile pieces that can be used uh, over and over again mm. in different ways mm. so mm. i think uh, there's going to be a little shift in the way uh, consumers shop um, mm. uh, which is i Conscious think the reason is what is yeah. going to happen i think yes yes and and i feel which is where uh, mm. uh, st- understanding of styling will mm. play an important role Absolutely. today yeah. more than any time else uh mm. because uh, you know we are in the situation where nobody wants mm. to impulsively spend money in in things yeah. that they don't need so uh, you know we talk about conscious fashion sustainable mm-hmm. fashion how do you think this conscious and sustainable fashion would come into indian weddings how uh, positively would people take it so because i feel uh, weddings is all about going grander and you know that's true that's true i agree twice. i i agree puneet uh, so you know uh i've already been noticing this uh, uh slight uh, change with uh, you know younger brides who are more aware who want mm. to figure ways of uh, mm. you know budgeted ways of looking like their favorite bollywood bride mm. you know mm. they they want to know these alternatives and uh, mm. they want to look different from uh, everyone else they want to stand out so i think there is mm. a conscious effort there in mm. uh, uh finding their own uh, identity but at the mm. same time also keeping in mind that they don't want to go overboard with things mm. and uh, in mm. ter- terms of recycle like i said you know uh, mm. you know a bride is always nowadays looking at options mm. and how she mm. could make use of everything that she's mm. investing in at her wedding yeah. um uh, for her wedding wardrobe in different ways later and likewise mm. uh, people who are attending weddings you know there was a mm. time when uh, people would just go shopping uh, uh, you know bizarre to attend people's wedding when there mm. well there is a shift in that uh, both mm. men and women have started uh, pulling out pieces mm. from uh, you know their wardrobe and restyling wardrobe. it restyling yeah. it different pocket squares mm. bundies being teamed with uh, you yeah. know different kind maybe a jeans and a shirt you know like you're just mix and match and creation is key what yeah what styling suggested. and ac- accessorizing is very important you know you understand hmm. this and you'll be able to multiply things with and uh, also that is how you have. create your own distinct style otherwise a Absolutely certain designer true. piece or a lehenga or a sherwani or a bandi is just being taken it, by any designer yeah so it'll just look like it's off the rack yeah, yeah yeah that's true so uh, also you know we we've been hearing about virtual weddings we've been you know uh, seeing people talking about virtual weddings so i personally feel uh, that you know when it comes to an indian wedding uh, i think uh, virtual wedding is a far fetched dream because every yeah. bride uh, you know every girl dreams of being a bride i mean that is one day That's that she's true. very excited about That's so true. They, so what is your take on it do you think virtual wedding is going uh, to be a hit or a flop you know honestly um uh in places uh, you know like if if there are brides who are already um 
before the lockdown they were already mm. prepped with their clothes their jewelry mm. and mm. everything and they were supposed mm. to get married anytime mm. soon uh, mm. uh and they have a space within their private uh, uh you know mm. property like say they live mm. in a ha- house mm. which has a great lawn or something mm. you know there are there's a scope of doing something like that uh you yeah. know for us people living yeah. in bombay and you know living yeah. in apartments it just feels yeah. like not so yeah. right you know yeah. doing yeah. a virtual wedding i still yeah, feel absolutely. that the beauty of a virtual wedding is great if it is at least uh, uh, videographed properly you know because yeah. you're asking everybody to come online and watch you getting yeah. married uh, it yeah. has to be a beautiful site so yeah. um yeah. yeah i mean so uh, if if that can be achieved uh, mm. and if you are okay uh, mm. compromising on the big fat uh, uh, mm. you know celebration mm. uh, then mm. yes go for it uh, but mm. if you are not ready with your uh, clothes your jewelry uh, mm. and um, you know you don't really have space uh, in this mm. complete lockdown situation mm. to ho- mm. to 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 you know go ahead with something like mm. that I yeah. would recommend, uh, um, you know, a little wait is totally worth uh, doing. I I totally agree. I think uh, weddings is all about, you know, making experience memories. It's memories. it's a lifetime memory, yeah, and you absolutely. don't want to so ruin that. I think uh, it says it all. So uh, <laughs> just for you know, couple of people, you know, questions we've got yesterday when we posted about sure. you come live. So they wanted to know, like, you know, what is it like? to be a celebrity you know to be styling celebrities and being a celebrity stylist how how do you feel when you're on the job when you're actually telling someone else to dress in a certain way well uh, i mean uh, this is something that we've been doing for a while now and i think it just mm. uh, uh, is it's become a way of life for me and mm. uh, um, and i i love the fact that uh, styling and especially with celebrity styling is never monotonous mm. every day is mm. different uh, uh, you know every day you're working on a new event mm. a new shoot a new uh, mm. project and the research mm. that you could and of course uh, you, the wonderful airport looks that we see every now and then <laughs> yeah i mean now come on i mean think of it uh, i mean uh, you know there would be styling early only for red carpets and yeah. then there would be uh, you know some media events and uh, mm. uh, now it's moved to airport looks and weddings and you know so on and peop- mm. it's great that people want to mm. take that effort to look uh, mm. uh, perfectly put together perfect and stylish and, uh, yeah yeah and especially influencers like uh, celebrities who know mm. that uh, there are people who are aping them there are people who want to mm. uh, they look up to them so they want to make that effort to look uh, perfect whenever they mm. are uh, making mm. a public appearance um mm. so it it feels great that you are in a way being able to indirectly uh, uh influence or rather uh, you know uh, convey a tone of voice to people who are largely mm. out there looking mm. at uh, something new uh, in in the in mm. you know in terms of mm. fashion and you are mm. able to do that for them uh, through mm. uh, uh you know celebrities and mm. um yeah i mean i quite enjoy it i quite enjoy the chaos and the running around and amazing uh, you know the must be very exciting i mean it's exciting sure. hectic but yeah it's it's super fun fun end of the day one question that uh, we got was uh, could you uh, give us a tip for plus size brides well uh, for plus size brides i would say uh, don't uh, i mean be confident uh, uh, ultimately it's your confidence that's going to uh, you know make hmm. you a stunning bride Uh, mm. uh nevertheless uh, keep in mind uh, about uh, um you know um, uh, hiding your flaws and mm. enhancing your uh, um uh, you know strengths for example mm. low uh, low neck lines are a great detail mm. for you uh, mm. uh sleeves uh, even if it is full sleeves they're quite in there is nothing uh, mm. bad about uh, wearing full sleeves or three fourth sleeves in your mm. tolies and mm. uh, um uh, you know high waist lehengas are are the mm. thing to do today so uh, good for you know good for uh, anyone who's curvy and heavy that mm. um, you know it's no longer a trend to wear your lehengas um, uh, mm. below your uh, navel it's it's all high up there which works mm. for uh, mm. which works for their body type and uh, yeah i mean um, uh, le- you know i think these uh, points are easy in terms of mm. uh, execution 
for them and they, they'll make a stunning bride with uh, just keeping these few tips in mind so another is what if, what would be an ideal summer summer party look like i mean for me summer relates to a lot of fun colors uh, be mm. it uh, pop colors be it bright mm. colors so uh, mm. if it's summer 2020 that we're talking about which is kind of uh, Uh, um which would ideally be neons mm. for me uh mm. you know bright yellows bright mm. pinks mm. lime etc mm. um uh something flowy and uh, light and fun in these colors be it indian wear mm. be it uh, mm. uh you know uh, uh things with ruffles etc which add some drama i think that would be more summer party for me okay. i've got one question i think that's for us so it mm-hmm. says i have my wedding in december can you suggest what kind of invites to go so okay so that's for invites so in terms of invites uh, i think you know uh, you should ideally go in with something uh, which is inspired by nature is what i feel since you know we've had such a major life changer you know with this entire lockdown and everything i think it's all about celebrating and going back to nature so maybe i, I feel personally i mean i'm going to design things which are going to be about nature What do so- you think uh, in terms of uh, you know mm. the whole invitation uh, industry? Mm. You know, people would go bizarre sending like really massive invites, and now mm. that the whole shift is that you know uh, try and mm. do things digitally as much as possible. Mm. Avoid mm. Uh, people traveling with these huge hampers uh, yeah, and gifts. Yeah, so yeah. How, where where how do you think that's going to uh, affect so- the whole invitation industry? So you know what has happened is uh, virtual lately, invites. Virtual, yeah. So virtual invites have become an added service for us. So people definitely mm. want to, you know, especially the elderly and maybe you know even in India. I mean, it's a custom. So you, if you don't invite people gracefully or uh, if there's nothing physical that's been sent out, people kind of huh. get offended. So I think so. Tell us some virtual interesting invites, virtual invite tips. Yeah. so but in terms of virtual invites you know one is the legibility you have to be very careful in terms of you know because things are seen on a mobile screen so you have to have mm-hmm. very selective usage of your words the text the font mm-hmm. styling and virtual invites have to be very in sync with the theme it has to be very personalized so for example mm-hmm. if someone's getting married in you know, udaipur that vibe has to come through the graphics come through the words has right. to come through the visuals of it it cannot be any mm-hmm. generic invite and also uh, it's not just about a static invite you know you could do uh, video invites you could do personalized messages uh, we also do these whatsapp stickers uh, then you could do uh, interesting uh, text notes so there there's a, there's a i mean it's a huge uh, uh, field in its own i mean there there are many new uh, technologies that are coming into even create a very different experience well wow, i mean version. like whatsapp stickers and deck like deck yeah. notes I, I what is that like i know what whatsapp stickers are what, what so whatsapp that? stickers is like you know we customize them for uh, your stickers, wedding maybe which, which, yeah the yeah. stickers for your wedding so maybe Correct. you could uh, you know send in a sticker w- w- prior to the mehndi on everyone's phone that you know the mehndi is starting or maybe two days or three days to go stuff like that so these are just like fun stickers that have been created for the wedding so it's like a and they could package. and they would what use it while they're posting those pictures posting things stuff? yes yes nice yes. and what are these deck codes that you said it's like uh, so what happens is you know again in video invites you normally uh, kind of uh, put a interesting music right so instead of that you could do a personalized uh, uh, message like a voice message within the oh, nice. video and then we are also doing these interesting barcodes so those are the hmm. codes that i was talking about so where when we send we send you a barcode and then you actually scan it and that's how you get to see the entire uh, message so that's also interesting oh. so what we do is we fuse nice. technology with the conventional invite so even in a <laughs> conventional invite you could do a barcode rituraj uh, sir saying ask him to show all of this what are these ideas <laughs> <laughs> that is going to be difficult i mean but we we trying to put everything the together on our and instagram that. and uh, make it uh, You, know, you should. You totally should. I mean, this is the time when yeah. people might just find these kind of virtual ideas more interesting. I mean, yeah. that's where uh, we're all trying to brainstorm and do things which are more uh, uh, accessible to people without having yeah. to come and yeah. physically, yeah. Um, and also, uh, you know, meet. Yeah. And also with invites, what has happened is, you know, as you said, there are Vogue, people coming for virtual you. invites only, but then they end up doing a beautiful personalized hamper. which is sent to you know to the families to their near and dear ones which is even i think 
that's a wonderful way of expressing them and uh, you know showing their gratitude their love yeah i mean that is something that we've all been doing for a while now right just yeah. sending out a hamper but i do feel that uh, you know what you talk what you spoke about barcodes and uh, hmm. uh, you know stickers and stuff they hmm. they could be interesting ideas for uh, yeah. a virtual yeah. uh, sustainable yeah. way of and instagram pages of course uh, of i mean course, yeah. doing your that's... wedding on social media <laughs> that's true that's yeah. true So yeah I mean that was that was those were some fun interesting ideas yeah. and um I, this was it was so uh, nice chat you, you. Uh, yeah so now Isha before we say bye we're going to do a quick rapid fire with you sure it's sure. just like a fun exercise so i'm going to ask yeah, you questions and you start. have to be very spontaneous mm-hmm. you cannot cheat you cannot okay done so done you go for with it. any of the questions yeah. right so i'll okay. start with you and then i have some emojis also so i'm going to show these to you knowing oh, if you can <laughs> so uh, would you rather be underdressed or overdressed I think underdressed I rather keep it simple Okay that's that's a cool answer So uh-huh. a color that suits everyone uh, the most challenging body shape Um uh, well uh, men or women Men Men I think uh, black works for all and uh, mm. women I feel red works for all Yeah So uh, one of the most weirdest styling request you've got from uh, one of your celebrity clients. The well, um, mm, the weirdest I must say was to um, attend a funeral, which I thought was um, a bit of a. Uh, I mean, not like I can post those pictures anywhere. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what what is the shortest time that you had to deliver a look? for a uh, the you know. shortest time uh, for me has been uh, uh, you know for an event uh, that very evening and i was told in the afternoon that we have uh, something okay. um and then you have uh, to do and, all, but these like, kind of short deadlines have happened to me many times you know there has been like uh, recently we did uh, a set of promotions with pooja hegde for mm-hmm. her film and uh, mm-hmm. literally at 6 pm um, you mm-hmm. know she asked me that hey you know would you take a, a 5 am flight uh, to hyderabad tomorrow because i have seven events lined up so wow. it it's literally so that's why you're cool na huh? <laughs> thank you <laughs> riddhi bansal so, thank you <laughs> so what is the best instagram account to follow in terms of style in terms of style uh, you know i basically have a couple of uh, uh, people that i follow and i hmm. i love them i love their style i love blake hmm. lively i like sara jessica parker and i think how uh, you know they're stylish and effortless and i i feel these are uh, uh, hmm. inspirations of style icons for me hmm. okay who would be the next person that you would want to style i mean you have the list completed any anyway, i think it's yeah. one of these girls that i just mentioned <laughs> okay i would love to style them so you 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 literally make them uh, look hot huh? hot so hot is fine if you were a fashion right. police whom were you you know who would you uh, kind of arrest for a bad um, bad fashion sense for a bad fashion sense um you know um i don't know if it's uh, r- wrong to say but uh, although i quite uh, f- uh, i mean i find her really cool but at times mm. i don't get her it's it's lady gaga i i sometimes <laughs> fail to get her but i think i mean it's it's fab how she pulls off things <laughs> yeah yeah Yeah, I mean, I, I, to each his own. I think. You know, yeah, to each his own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the last thing you googled? What was the last thing I googled? Uh, uh, well, uh, a while ago, I was uh, uh, looking up uh, about uh, uh, where uh, luxury brands and sustainability is going to go uh, cool. post this. I was reading up on that. So just before we got on this call. Okay. So are you a lazy panda or a fitness freak during this uh, quarantine period? I'm um, I'm actually uh, you know in mid, in between uh, hmm. um I uh, probably you know do a little uh, workout for about 20 minutes and then I'm back you know back to uh, hmm. uh, chilling. <laughs> okay. So so you're a serious chiller. So what would be the <laughs> first thing you will do when you kind of uh, you know once this once this lockdown is lifted? Mhm. Um um first thing, first thing is uh, maybe meet uh, my team and give them a big hug. <laughs> I think that's the first thing I'm yeah. going to do. 
absolutely we we are all dying to go back <laughs> yeah, to I mean, and, yeah i mean yeah missing i'm really meeting missing and... those days you know yeah. meeting uh, brides uh, you know understanding what they want and then you know i mean they, it was true. always challenging because we always had something new to do that's right yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think it was an amazing uh, round i think you you pretty Same much yeah, answered all the questions fun. and very uh, righteously so so uh, yeah i mean uh guys thank you so much for joining us uh, i feel uh, you guys must totally even uh, look up what uh, you know mm. we have uh, in terms of yeah. uh, virtual yeah, styling good. it's it's yeah, something yeah. that could be of great help to all of you <laughs> so i'm, I'm going to give you a big hug from here before you leave thank you and, uh, the hug comes back bye. to you <laughs> bye take care take care bye. see you soon thank you for your time so i think uh, that was an amazing session with isha we really uh, uh would like to thank her for taking out time and you know being here and uh, sharing these tips with her so it was a wonderful session so uh, stay tuned uh, our uh, next session is now on monday so i have the czar of indian weddings i have the design guru uh, you know of indian weddings who's going to be coming and talking to us uh, so it's monday 5 pm uh, see you guys again till then have a great evening great day bye